Well, it took me a long time than normal to get the Soundcore Life Q35 review up. Uh, if you guys don't know, I've been having a lot of problems behind the scenes of filming this episode and also video in the whole. There have been a lot of pushbacks, a lot of things have been going on in my personal life. So I want to take this moment to thank each and every one of you for being understanding and being patient with me. But taking the extra time has allowed me to use these headphones more and more and finally be able to give my own version a review of this product. Now, before I start the review, I just want to give a couple of disclaimers. Disclaimer number one, I am a tech show host. I run a show called Technoid. These headphone reviews that you're watching, these are just things I like to do on the off side when I take a break from my show. Number two, I do want to point out that yes, these headphones were provided and kindly sent to me by Soundcore. However, their influence and them sending me the headphones have nothing to do with my review or my opinion that you're gonna see in this episode, so they do not influence it in any way, shape, and form. And number three, most importantly, this review will be a continuation of where I left off from the unboxing video, so I highly recommend you guys to check out the unboxing video before you watch this video, so everything will make sense and it'll understand how we continue from the last video. Now that we got that out of the way, Let's talk about the Soundcore Life Q35s. So the first thing we're going to talk about with these headphones, the first thing that everybody wants to know is sound quality. Now I've had these headphones for over a month and I've been using them extensively as both my daily drivers, as headphones I take to the gym, everything. I have used these over my AirPods Max, which surprisingly the box is still down here. But I have used these over them and I am going to give you guys a full in-depth review about the sound. But before I talk about the sound, I want to disclaim something. Right out of the box, these do have a bass heavy sound. However, once you tweak with the EQ, once you work with it in the app, you can then change the sound profile to something that prefers and it does make the music experience a lot better. It does tone down the bass or you can up the bass if you're a bass head. And I will say the bass on these are nice and deep and pronounced, but it might be a little bit too much. I'll explain in just a second. So here is my custom EQ. You can try it out for yourself if you guys are interested. Check it out. Try and see if you like it. And here are some sound samples with the normal default out of the box sound and then we will switch it over to my personal EQ. So in terms of the sound quality, as I said before, it is a very bass heavy sound. Now that's what you would expect from $100 pair headphones. But in this case, Soundcore has touted high res audio and that is thanks to their new support for LDAC. Now, if you guys don't know what LDAC is, LDAC is a proprietary, well, it used to be proprietary to Sony, where it would allow for compression better for transferring audio signals at lower latency and reproduce sound at a better range by using, of course, lower levels of audio files and also, of course, streaming it over Bluetooth does kind of degrade the sound a bit, so LDAC does reduce that degradation from Bluetooth audio. Now, I will say that, unfortunately, I have not had a chance to try them out with LDAC as I am not an Android user, but I have seen the results from LDAC users with Android and sound quality does sound very similar but there are noticeable difference but focusing on sound quality as a whole 
These things, like I said, bass heavy in the beginning, but once you tweak them, once you work it, it is so much better. The bass is nice and deep and pronounced. It has feeling to it. Once you tweak it, the mids and the treble are nicely pronounced in there, but sometimes the bass can leak a little bit too much into that, so they can kind of ruin the music if you're listening to certain songs. But overall, they sound very, very good. They're not terrible. I've heard a lot worse, I'm not gonna lie. These are nowhere bad. These are actually very nice to listen to once you tweak them. But I think out of the box, they definitely need to be tweaked. Unless, of course, you're okay with the default sound signature. Now, one of the cool things with the sound is, of course, the in-app support for EQs. EQs are nice, and Soundcore gives you a lot of options with the EQs. So I really do like that fact, and I really do appreciate Soundcore for adding more different types and styles for when you're trying to customize these bad boys. Now the next thing is noise cancelling. Now for noise cancelling, that is a little bit of a different story, but we're not going to do it in here. So you know what? Let's take a trip to the park. Everybody, come on. Let's go. Alright, so let's talk noise cancelling. Now, not in my uh, studio, so decided to do the noise cancelling out here because I feel like that's one of the number one things that people typically associate noise cancelling headphones with. The outdoors. Well, when it comes to noise cancelling, I gotta say, Soundcore has made some very good progress. They have some great noise canceling headphones. They've got some great products for under their price range. And the Q35s do have a new feature called the adaptive noise canceling. It changes your frequency based on your usage in the app and you're able to then change what you hear around you. However, this time around, I gotta say I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm not saying they're terrible. They're not bad headphones. They don't have bad noise canceling, but Compared to their brother and headphones, the Liberty Air 2 Pros, which have a more in-ear seal, I would argue that these noise canceling are a lot better than these. Now that's not to say that these are terrible. They do block out a general sound around you. So those little chirping, car noises, regular gym sounds, that's fine. But higher frequency sounds like hearing clash of metal or anything around you, like the ringing of a bell or the car alarm, you could still hear them. Now you can change them. You can, like I said, it is an adaptive noise canceling, so you can change what you hear around you, but I don't think it's as strong as their other headphones. And if memory serves me well, their previous version, the Q30s, when I tested those, I would argue that those had very similar performance in noise canceling. So while it's not a terrible noise canceling performance, I wouldn't say it's the best either. And I will have to be honest and tell you the truth as it is, I was a little bit disappointed, but that's not to say that it's not the worst either. They do do their job, but I think they need a little bit more work. Now let us get into the tech specs. Now again, these do tout high res audio, so if you guys have any questions about Apple lossless music experience, yes, these Life Q30s do support high res audio. If you're an Android user, you can get it wireless with LDAC, but for wired headphone users, audio files, yes, they do support Apple's lossless audio experience. They don't support the super, super high res at 192 kilobits. They support regular lossless audio, so you can get high res audio from these wired. So I do wanna put that out there because I know Apple's making a big deal about that and also with Spotify and others. But the next thing is the battery life. The battery life on these things are incredible. They say 40 hours of battery life. I'm telling you guys, it has been over three weeks and I've still yet to charge these. I've only charged this once. Once, that's it people. Once I've only ever had to charge these. So battery life is more than 40 hours. They say 40 hours with noise canceling or transparency on. If you turn the noise canceler off, you get 60 hours. So honestly, it's not bad at all. But one thing I will say is when you turn the noise canceler and the music, like I said in my unboxing, these do affect the sound quality. Now, it doesn't affect the sound quality when you're using them with a wired connection. But when you're using them wirelessly, the bass does get more pronounced and it gets a lot more muddier. So the noise canceling is better left on as it will sound the best out of the other two. Now, in terms of the microphone quality, I'm gonna let you guys make the decision. Here is a full sample of me describing the microphone experience on the Life Q35s. So this is the microphone sample on the Soundcore Life Q35s. In terms of the sound, I've actually had a chance to listen back, and for the most part, these are definitely a 
Not a significant upgrade from the Q30s, but they are definitely a lot better in terms of clarity and in terms of hearing. Now, they are no AirPods or AirPods Max, which I think have the best microphone quality on headphones, but I will say they are definitely better than a lot of the $100 pair of headphones that I've used. They definitely pick up voice, they definitely amplify in noisy environments, but most of all, they do a great job. And to prove it, I am actually in a noisy environment and there are some noises in the background. So I think overall, it is a great pair with microphone. So overall, what do I think of the Soundcore Life Q35s and what do I think of them as a whole? Well, here is where things take a little bit of a turn. Now, I'm gonna say before I'm, what I'm about to say, I honestly will say yes, for $130, these are worth it. Soundcore has upped the build, they have upped the earphones, they have upped the sound, the connectivity, they have basically taken the Life Q30s that were the last generation models and have basically improved on them, giving us the best over ear that we have seen from Soundcore in the whole duration of the company. The Q20s were a great pair, the Q10s were not the best for me, but the Q30s were my favorite and I said that they had to work on just a few things and that's what they did with these. So Soundcore has given us by far, in my opinion, the best over ears that they have made since they have been open as a business, but also they do the job well. You get good noise canceling, despite what I have said, they do work. You get very good sound quality and if you tweak it, you can get an even better sound signature. You've got good microphone quality, quality, fast charging, NFC pairing, high-res audio wired or wireless if you're an Android user, iPhone users unfortunately AAC, but it gives you everything you need. However, here is where things get a little different. I think for people, if you have the Life Q30s and are looking to upgrade, I would say no. If you're a user that's looking to buy over-ear headphones and you don't want to break the bank, definitely consider this and the Life Q30s. See, here's the thing, and this is why I gotta mention, while both headphones are great and the Q30s do get improvements, I noticed when looking back on my review and also looking back at the sound signatures for the Q30 and Q35s, their sound signature were very, very similar. They had similar bass experience, they had very similar sound quality, not as good of a mic quality, but it's still very good for the price range. But one of the reasons why I say that is because the Life Q30s just recently got a price reduction to $80. These are $130, that's $50 cheaper, that's a whole $50. Imagine what you could do with $50. You could buy a lot of pizza for $50. But here's the other thing, they have very similar specs. You get the same 40 hour battery, you get the same in-app support, you still get the same high-res audio wire, you don't get LDAC, but you still get great sound quality regardless. And now, recently, with Prime Day, they have lowered the price now to $59.99. That's $60. That's a whole $70 less than the Q35s. Now, so right now, you're probably saying, what are you going on about? What do you recommend? Well, listen, I'm putting that into a factor because I think both of those headphones are great. It does make me want to do a comparison video, but for the purposes of this review, I'm just going to say this. If you're on a tight budget, or if you're on a budget, period, and you really can't afford the Q35s, or if you have the Q30s, I would say stick with them or go that route because you're not missing much with this. These are more of a minimal, more of a minimal upgrade because you're not gonna really notice them over 100% if you're coming from the Q30s or if you're on a really tight budget. You're gonna get great sound quality, you're gonna get great app support, you're gonna get the high-res audio, but most of all, you'll get a very similar experience. But if you don't have any headphones or you're looking to buy in on a brand new pair of over-ears and you have the money to spend, then definitely jump on board for the Q35s. They are still a great pair of headphones at the end of the day, but I just wanted to give you that perspective before you hit the purchase. I'm not trying to stop you from purchasing these headphones. Just take that into consideration when you are going to buy because their Q30s, like I said, very, very similar in experience, sound in some ways, not entirely, but in some ways. So definitely take that into consideration and you will be saving some money. But overall, I definitely recommend these headphones if you are looking for a pair of brand new over ears. The Life Q35s do come in a nice color too. They say black, this is nice navy blue. So I 100% recommend. I have no doubts this is a great pair of headphones. And Soundcore, I just wanna give you guys this message. You have shown us as an audio company, as everything. You have proven that you listen, you deliver, and you guarantee what you say. And to me, you are now my default audio brand. I used to buy from AKG, Apple, I still buy from Apple, and other companies. 
But now that I know that Soundcore has proven themselves, and I'm not saying this because they gave this to me for free, I'm saying this from my experience. If you look at all my videos in the past, I've used nothing but Soundcore. You guys are my preferred audio, and you are going to be the audio product that I buy from this day forth. However though, there is one headphone left in your lineup that definitely needs an update. And I think you know which headphone I'm talking about. So I hope we get to see that update coming and write your comments down below if you wonder what headphone I'm talking about. And that is it for this review of the Life Q35s. Now guys, again, if you have any more questions or concerns, please write me in the comments. I will try my best to get back to you when I can. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you dislike the video, you can hit the dislike button. That helps circulate my videos as well. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Take care, stay safe, and peace! Oh, and fun fact. Anytime a YouTuber wears sunglasses indoors, he's generally an asshole. Unless, of course, you're me, of course. You do fun skits when you wear sunglasses indoors. This is the appropriate attire to wear sunglasses. Not indoors. Learn the message, people. <laughs> Just play it. Go ahead.